Welcome. We've just made a video about um, developing the Saturday icon of Master PDF. So if you have a missing icon for an application of some kind, you go to the github.com, Eric Dubois, Saturday, and add an issue. So you need to have an account on this GitHub thing. So TC69 here asks me to develop a icon for master PDF editor. We've explained this in this video, which is over here. So how to develop an, an icon from scratch based on a PNG. So that's what is this. And then resulting is that you will have icons in here. No, nope. it's in here. Here you have all the, the end result, right? So what I did was create an image. So these, sorry, cancel these guys are the images of all the variants of Sardi and these guys are actually links so a link costs nothing so a link to the master PDF when it's number five and I anticipated that there will be a version number six already so that's created as well so like I said it doesn't cost anything so why not do it but I just see one thing I need to correct and then we can go on with the video because the icon is not yet finished. I press Ctrl Shift and then drag this a little bit in so it's not outside of these lines. Ctrl Shift save. Done. Replace. Yes, that's good. Close. So when I um, check this out and, and go to the application, you see it's still not correct, nor is it going to be correct anywhere else, right? So it's still not right. And why is this? And guys, you need to help us. You need to help yourself. You need to help me. I help everybody. Because there are still developers out there who do the following. Open this one. Where are we? User share applications. Okay. So I have this pathway. It's here in my bookmarks because I always need to go in there. So open with sublime text and then you see why you'll never get a nice icon he's pointing to a specific place on your system i closed that one he's going to point to opt to this one and it, this is never going to change this is always going to stay the same icon because of a developer that's not smart let's face it this is not smart thing to do so what would be better is master pdf control z control z so let's just skip this part and that part that is super if he just could release that like this so i can save this now let's save this let's save this i can save this now if there is a name somewhere in your icon theme whatever icon theme you're using and there is an icon with that name things will change if there's always an if master if you have an icon then the theme kicks in and it says oh i have an icon for that and it will display it so a hard-coded path is rubbish it's not good and in Arco Linux we have this little application that's in here fix hard-coded icons but basically just just a window to give it to this application that's in here so that's just a visual thing to do to this um, code that's running now it will not fix this master pdf editor nothing will be fixed because master pdf editor is not known to the, the system well, I said in the beginning, how can you help yourself? You can help yourself by going to a website. Type in Fogalong hard code fixer and make an account again on GitHub and report issues here. So first check master PDF editor. Is it reported already? Is it fixed already? No, it's not fixed. So he does not know there's an issue. And Fogalong can help you with a script. Well, that's this, this thing that we're running, hard code fixer. This thing or the terminal thing is coming from him. 
So if he has updated data about applications that are not complying with the general rules to do not hard code a path in an application, then we need to help him here. Okay. So how do we report that? Let's uh, do it the proper way as well. So you can uh, follow along if you have an application and you say, hey, why is this not following the SAVI icons? Because you see that it's hard coded. Okay. We need to go to this one, All right? We went to user share applications, master PDF editor five dot desktop. And he is going to use this code. That's the code, that's the complete code. Control Z, Control Z. This is the original thing. Because we need the original thing back. What's the title? Master PDF 5 editor. That's the application. Okay, master PDF editor. I guess it's five at the end. Okay. Then the application name substituted with the application we're talking about. And I would guess you take a copy paste of this guy. Execute, right? Control V, Control Z. What am I doing here? Okay, let's undo everything here because I want it in here, of course. Delete and then instead of name, Control V. The icon attribute in the desktop file. The icon attribute in the desktop file. This is the dot desktop file. Control C. And if you report that each time you see one, at some point in time, it will get to it and then everything will be fixed. Desktop file name, so the thing up here, master PDF editor 5.desktop. So master PDF editor 5. dot desktop right let's check everything again because this is this is critical he's using an excel and these variables should be correct and um, if it is it's going to replace it with um, advised he'll probably change it the way i see it but advice to change to master pdf editor 5 master pdf editor 5 yeah okay so no typos allowed if i'm gonna check because here there are uh, hyphens there are no hyphens here master pdf editor 5 okay this long thing he actually really needs it so if you've deleted it already and can't recover it he wants the complete path this is a hard-coded path to a b and g and we want to free up your system take every um, when you change icons at least he'll take that icon and not this red one from them okay don't see anything else to check out so submit new issue and that's it just you wait and see uh, if everything is fixed. Maybe a quick glance again, if everything is okay. So this is a nice little table you get and he'll do his thing with it. All right, so basically guys, if you still see stuff that you say, Eric did not create an icon. Well, it's often that I it can be possible, of course, but it's if it's a hard-coded path, just like in this example, it will never ever get fixed. And the only thing we can do is report it on the GitHub of Vogelon. So if everybody reports one, it will be easily fixed. All right, cheers.